Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuvir. In this class, we will discuss about uh, the compression function in SHA-512. In our last class, we already discussed some of the basics regarding SHA-512. Please watch those classes and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, uh, see, it, SHA-512 is following an iterative method. What iterative method means? The entire message is divided into the blocks of size 1024. This 1024 is given as input to the compression function and this compression function will generate an output of 512. This 512 is given as input to the next one. Along with this, the next 1024 bit message is also given to the next compression function. So this is what iteration method means. And for the first compression function, we need 512 bits that give as input to the compression function. These 512 bits are generated based on our, in our last class we clearly discussed how these 512 bits are generated. Please watch the classes because we are generating some constants based on square root method. And these 512 bits are divided into parts of words. Each word is of size uh, 64 bits uh, and those 64 bits we call it as A0, B0, C0 up to H0. 8 blocks, 8, 60, 8 words it is converted into. Each word we call it as A0 up to H0. And A0 to H0 is given as input to the compression function along with this 1024 bits also the actual message is also sent as input to the compression function. And in our last class, we clearly discussed this, this 1024 bits is divided into 80 words. Each word is of size 64 bits. So this 1024 bits are converted into 80 words. How we convert that, we already discussed previously. So now coming to the compression function, this 512 bits A0, B0, C0 up to H0 is given as input. A0, B0, C0 up to H0 is given as input. Along with this, this 1024 bits is converted into 80 words. Each word is of size 64 bits. That also given as input. W0, W1 up to W79. So in our compression function, we are having total 80 rounds are there. Each round is going to take one word which is generated here. 1024 bits. From this 1024 bits we generated 80 words. Each round will take input as one word. And along with this each round is given another 64 bits. We call it as K0, K1, so on up to K79. These are constants. How we are going to generate these constants, we, are, we will discuss at the end of the class. For now, so each round is going to take A0, B0, C0, E0, F0 and G0 and H0 is taken as input to the round 0. And W0 is taken and K0 is taken as input. From this round, you are going to get an output A1, B1. We call it as A1, B1, C1 up to H1. This is given as input to the next round. For the next round, W1 is taken as input and K1 is also taken as input. It is going to generate next output. Like that, it keeps on going for the last round, K79 and W79 and the whatever, A79, A78, A, B78, C78, so on up to H78 is going to be the input. And it is going to generate the final output, which we call it as A79, B79, so on up to H79. But you have to understand one more point here. For the final output, which we got from round 79, again this output is added with the first input, H0. This H79 is added with H0. Similarly, G79 is added with G0. Similarly, F79 is added with F0. In order to avoid confusion, we did not put the lines here. We have shown only one thing, H0 added to H79. Here addition. H79 is 64 bits, H0 is 64 bits. We are going to do addition modulo 2 power 64. 
in order to avoid overflow and to bring back to 64 bits we are taking addition modulo 2 power 64 this concept we already discussed in our previous classes this is what the final or after addition whatever the output the 512 bits which we got this is what our final output in our first iteration this is the 512 bits these 512 bits are taken as input to the next round and 1024 bits which the next message the message the, the next part of the message is also considered again it is sent into the compression function like that it is going to iterate this is how this is what the what happens this is an overview of compression function what happens inside the compression function and one more point we need to understand here what happens inside this round 0 round 1 round 79 what transformation it is going to do that we are going to understand in our next class before that we need to understand how we are going to generate these constants in our last class we discussed this how we are going to generate these constants a0 b0 up to h0 using uh, taking the first eight prime numbers and they are done with the square root of similarly the same way take the first 80 constants k0 k 80 prime numbers k0 k1 so on up to k79 what is the first prime number 2 it should be taken as cube root of k you have to do the cube root value if you convert that into binary value assume that if this is the case cube root of 19 one zero dot after decimal you take up to 64 bits those 64 bits we consider it as a 19th constant first constant constant is cube root of 2 second constant is what is the next prime number 3 is a prime number cube root of 3 next one is 5 cube root of 5 after decimal you have to maintain 64 bits those 64 bits we consider it as k0 k1 so on up to k79 anyhow we are going to give you the list of all 64 all 80 constant values in our website learningmonkey.in we can we are going to provide it there hope you understand so you can check it there Hope you understand the overview of compression function. If you have any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.